What's up, guys? So, over at Corridor Digital, we do a lot of things. Um, a lot of people know us for our visual effects. Um, I do a lot of sound design and music, a lot of things uh, both on and off set. But one thing that we are still doing for every single video, regardless of what it is, is directing. Directing is actually one of the biggest tasks that we face with every single video. And so, today I'm going to share a few tips and things we've learned over the years that might help you be a better first-time director or just a director in general. Here we go. Having strong, respectable leadership on set is tricky. It takes patience, a very clear vision of what you want, and good communication. It's not always about how good your decisions are. It's about the fact that you make them clearly and communicate them clearly with the rest of the team. That's how you get stuff done. Pro tip, don't always stick to the script. I'm not really sure what the script is right now, but all I can tell you is that some of the best decisions and best moments we have on set come from unscripted moments. People are coming up with ideas constantly. You have a bunch of people, all creative minds there to help you. So if something works and feels good, don't worry about breaking the script. Just make sure you have a plan to uh, cover it up if it creates problems later. Pro tip, if you like a director's style, try studying that when you watch their films. You can learn from it. Film sets are very chaotic, hectic places sometimes. And you have maybe people asking you all questions and need answers, but sometimes you need to just take a moment, make a clear decision, and that's okay. Even though there's a rush sometimes or you're trying to get things done, it's much better to take your time and make a good decision than rush it and make a bad one. So always keep that in mind. So communication is key when working with people and as a director you want to make sure you can do that clearly. You can do that either through a, a shot list before coming to set, a storyboard, or you can go as far as making a pre-visualization, pre a rendering of what you want to do. But regardless, each of these ways helps communicate the idea, the final vision, and the final goal. And you may want to consider picking one of these three as your method of choice. When we write a scene, we often think of it from the camera's point of view, but oftentimes directing and operating the camera at the same time is not ideal. It can lead to you focusing a lot more on your framing and your camera work than the actual performance, which is what matters at the end of the day. So try to reach out to somebody and find someone else to help you shoot, because you'll need them at times. Pro tip, you can use your fingers to set up shots, or you can get really high tech and use a viewfinder. This little tool has cool settings that simulate different focal lengths, aspect ratios, and all the other things you get when you look through a camera. So when you're on set, use this to plan out your shots. Time is a very finite and valuable resource, and you will often find that you don't have a lot of it. The best thing you can do is look at what's giving you the best return for your hours spent, and you will often find that spending a lot of time on something will start yielding very little change in quality. That's a sign that you have passed the point of diminishing returns, and you should put that product out there for everybody to see. Pro tip! Avoid getting into fights or arguments with people. If you have an issue with someone, take them aside and talk about it privately. You don't want to lose your cool as the director. It's very unprofessional. Pro tip! You're going to be extremely busy on set, so make sure you stay hydrated. You don't need the best gear in the world. You just need something that lets you tell the story and to do it quickly. As long as the audience isn't distracted, you're good. Pro tip, everyone's actually really confused on set all the time. So, rather than be demanding like a boss and telling them exactly what to do, do better, yeah, you need to nurture people. You have to be more like a parent or a coach. That is generally what's worked best for us, and you should try to do the same. Pro tip, don't do an actor's job for them, so avoid trying to tell them how to do a scene, and instead try to let the actor understand why they're doing a scene. Acting is a very unique and strange profession, and it's very hard too. Make sure you respect what an actor needs to get into the headspace for the scene. Often that can be space, it can be quiet, it can be loud. Ask them what they need, and the more they trust you as a director, the better their performance will be. Now, we'd all love all the time in the world to finish our projects, but that's not the best way to progress and learn. You need deadlines, and that's one of the biggest things we've learned after making YouTube videos for so long. Every single time we finish one and execute one, we have something to learn from, because it's done. We can sit there. We have reactions and we have our own critiques so make sure when you are working on something don't stagnate it pick a deadline and move on that's the best way to figure out what to do next <laughs>